Because today is day 13 of Russian attack on Ukraine. We have battlefield updates for you. Uh, how much territory, Ukrainian territory is under Russian control? What is the situation in and around Ukrainian capital, Kiev? Are Russians about to enter Kiev, Ukrainian capital? What about Kharkiv? What about southern Ukraine? We have a complete picture of battlefield gains and losses. This video will only cover territorial gains. We won't be focusing on material gains and losses. Let's start from southern Ukraine. Here on this map, you can see southern part of Ukraine, Odessa, Kherson, Melitopol. This zigzag line shows Ukraine border with neighboring countries like Moldova, uh, Hungary, Slovakia. Odessa, uh, port city, is still under Ukrainian control. Russia has not launched any major attack on Odessa so far, though we did see movement of Russian warships from here, from Crimea, through Black Sea towards Odessa. But no uh, ground offensive from Kherson or no amphibious assault from Crimea on Odessa has been launched by Russians so far. If Odessa falls, it could be a huge blow to Ukraine because from Odessa, Russians will move along this zigzag line. Uh, they will try to take control of uh, Ukraine, Moldova, Ukraine, Slovakia, Ukraine, Hungary, uh, border areas to put Ukraine under a siege. Uh, Odessa is being defended by Ukraine. It's not under Russian control. Kherson already uh, in the previous video told you about that. Kherson is under Russian control. There is presence. There is uh, considerable presence of uh, there is considerable presence of uh, Russians in Kherson. Uh, then you can see Melitopol. Uh, it's also under Russian control. Uh, and Mykolaiv can be seen here as well uh, to the north of uh, Kherson. Uh, Russian forces were in Mykolaiv. Uh, in fact, uh, they have been seen moving from Mykolaiv towards this place, uh, Kiriviyire. Uh, they have been seen going past uh, a place called uh, Sin Horivka. You can see Sini Horivka. Here you can see Sini Horivka. Today I saw videos of Russian soldiers uh, uh, crossing uh, Sini Horivka. So from Maikole, they are moving through Sini Horivka uh, towards this place, uh, Kiri Vijire. It is under Ukraine control, but here Russians are moving towards this place. Mykolaiv, uh, there is presence of Russians there. Uh, Kakhova under Russian control. And uh, here you can see Melitopol. It was taken by Russians several days ago. To the north and west, you can see Enerhodar here. Enerhodar is the place. Uh, Enerhodar and uh, Zaporizhizhia. Zabo is the place where there is a nuclear power plant, uh, largest nuclear power plant of Ukraine, of Europe is here. And we know that uh, three days ago, Russians took control of this power plant. So, uh, Zabo is uh, uh, then Enerhodar, these are under Russian control. Melitopol taken by Russians as well. But he asked, taken by Russia several days ago. This is Mariupol, which is under siege for uh, more than five days. Uh, Mariupol is under siege from Donetsk site, from Berdyansk site, and from Rostov, uh, Russian territory side. It is under siege. And uh, only road available uh, for evacuation is this one. Uh, Nikoliske uh, Ruzivka Road. A total siege. Uh, very open is under total siege views. But this road is partially open. Uh, 
Here we have seen some fighting between Ukrainian and uh, Russian forces. Uh, some ambush attacks have been reported here as well. Uh, but this is under Russian control too. So Mariupol is under total Russian control. It's under siege on all sides. But Russians are not inside the city. Reportedly, they're not in full control of the city, but they have encircled it. This road is partially open. Uh, Rozivka Nikolaevka. Then we can see here uh, Donetsk already taken by Russians, uh, Luhansk. There are Russian backed separatists here for several years. And from Donetsk, Luhansk, uh, separatists have been moving in uh, northern and western directions. And they have made some gains here. Here you can see Kharkiv, it's a Kharkiv, Belgrad. Belgrade, Russian on Russian side, and this is Kharkiv on Ukraine side. Kharkiv has been the place of deadly battles. Despite massive Russian assault on Kharkiv, Russians are not in full control of Kharkiv. Still, fighting is being reported near uh, and around Kharkiv. City has been damaged. It has been infrastructure has been destroyed in Kharkiv. Same is the case here, Sumi, because Russians entered Sumi several days ago. But still, we can't say that they are in inclusive, in full control of Sumi. Then, viewers, most important Russian target, Kiev. Here, it seems that Russians are on their way to lay siege to Kiev. We have seen three videos which confirm uh, visually confirm Russian presence close to Kiev. Firstly, you can see Irpin here. And uh, Makariv. First video which I saw a few hours ago is from Makariv. So Russians are in full control of Makariv. I have seen uh, a large convoy of Russian tanks uh, passing through Makariv. Irpin. Irpin is also under Russian control, though not fully. There is presence of Russians in Irpin viewers. And this is Borodyanka. Uh, another video visually confirmed Russian presence in Borodyanka. Russians are there. So you see that from western side, they have managed to get close to Kiev. From eastern side, they have made considerable advance viewers. Uh, I want to show you a place, uh, this one, Bohda Nevka, just seven kilometers away from Kiev city and Russian presence has been visually confirmed here in Bohda Nevka. It means that from eastern uh, Bohda Nevka site, uh, then from Irpin uh, site, and from a northern side, Russians have managed to lay siege to Kiev. When will Russians enter Kiev? That remains to be seen. But their siege is, uh, they are on their way to completely lay siege to Kiev. You can see E40 viewers. This is the main highway which links Kiev with Zaitomer, with western part of uh, Ukraine. Reportedly, they are about to take control of this road E40 because they are in Makariv. Here you can see Makariv. So Makariv is close to this E40. Reportedly, they are in a position to cut off this main road E40. If E40 is cut, it means that uh, the two main roads linking Kiev with Western Ukraine will be in Russian control. You can see Irpin here. Uh, Irpin, Kiev, and Kiev uh, 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 Nebelitsa Road. There are two main roads which link Kiev with Western uh, Ukraine. And Russians are about to take control of these two major roads linking Kiev with Western Ukraine. And from eastern and northern sides, uh, they have also managed to come close to Kiev. So, Russian advance is slow towards Kiev, but uh, it's not that uh, uh, they are frustrated and they have made serious and they have suffered serious losses. 
no they are gradually gradually tightening uh, the siege and we could see in coming hours uh, maybe in 24 48 hours we could see russians trying to enter or trying to storm kiev from multiple directions in coming videos we'll update you more about uh, russian battlefield gains and losses can ukraine defend kiev uh, it seems difficult uh, i think uh, kiev is being encircled it will be difficult for ukrainians to defend kiev though they are trying their best to keep russians as far away from kiev as possible thanks for watching